the men have set up a small snake outpost at the Manari Ranch in the Rupanuni. The snakes will stay here until shipped to Lawrence's laboratory for milking. There are approximately 75 species and subspecies of known rattlesnakes in the New World. In Guyana, we've identified one. But on this trip, I think we found two new types, previously unknown to science. These harsh lands of the Rupununi savanna are a normal habitat for the tropical rattlesnake. If this specimen proves to be a new type, maybe we'll name it Crotellus rupununus, the Rupununi rattlesnake. Milking requires strong hands, a lot of patience, and steady nerves. The tropical rattlesnake has a particular type of venom. It is urgently needed for medical research, and for every milking, there is the potential of saving lives. It is unique and has a demand that is growing as researches go on. In the not too distant future, I hope to have as many as 5,000 specimens on hand for milking. The venom of the fertilance is very toxic. It is called a hemotoxin, which means it affects the blood and tissues. The bright yellow color is due to a certain enzyme not present in all venoms. As I press the venom gland under the jaw muscles, the venom is forced through the long, needle-like fangs and emerges from small openings near the tips. To save the venom for our milking, what we do is feed the snake on a high protein liquid diet. This prevents the snake from wasting its venom and killing prey to eat. Here this ought to be enough for this snake. Freshly milked venom is put into a centrifuge to separate the waste matter. The venom from the rattlesnake will be used for important research into cancer and several neuromuscular disorders. Modern medicine is on the verge of tremendous scientific breakthroughs, which may make the venomous snake the most wanted animal alive. Dry ice is used to freeze the venom before it's dehydrated to a crystal powder. The crystal venom is then ready for shipment to more sophisticated laboratories where it will be used in medical research, ultimately to restore health and preserve human life. The snake. Through the ages, the snake has stirred our deepest fears. It is a symbol of worship, of majesty and of mistrust. Yet, despite its fearful image, man has met the challenge of the snake, conquered it, turned it, paradoxically, to his own advantage.
As long as men like Jack Kilman continue to meet this challenge, the snake will open new doors on medical and scientific research to the lasting benefit of mankind.